My name is Kia Gaines. If I saw women in my community engaging in community change, mostly through interactions with my mom's friends and from church. So with church, we did a lot of community service. Uh, we helped out um, people in the community, people experiencing homelessness. My mom was very active in Parent Teacher Association. So we had a lot of um, families and friends um, who would come over to the house um, to talk about different issues that were going on, especially with the school. Community involvement is important, especially as a woman, because as women, it, it seems as though we often take a place in the background. Even though we've always been involved in most of the large social movements, it's usually the men who serve as like the face of these movements. Because women are really the ones, in my opinion, who are been the driving force and the backbone behind large social change movements. I think as women, we have to make sure that we're standing up and speaking up for ourselves and that we understand that community is resting on our shoulders and it's our responsibility to make sure that the world is changing and evolving into a place where it's safe for everyone, especially for us. As a child, I remember realizing I was a girl probably around I think early elementary school days. My brother is only about 14 months older than me, so I grew up with him mostly as my playmate. So around age you know, eight, nine, 10 is where you start to see kind of kids being, I think, shoveled into different areas. So he was kind of pushed into more boyish things and I was pushed towards more feminine things, which I you know, obviously objected to. I didn't really like pink. And so I had my own like personal protest against like wearing pink or doing things that I felt to be too girly. And I pushed back against that because I wanted to do things my brother was growing up. The messages I received as a girl were basically that women were the ones who kind of stayed home, they kept quiet. I was a shy child and I remember like many instances where grown men, my dad's friends or just adults who would come into contact with would always, you know, praise me for being quiet. And, and as a shy person, I was very confused by that because it was just who I was, was my nature. I didn't necessarily attribute it to my sex or gender. And as I grew up into a teenage years and college years, I, I started to move out of my shell and out of my shyness, but I would still get that comment sometimes. Like, oh, that's great that you're quiet. More women should be like you. And I really you know, hated hearing that. And so I, I made a concerted effort to try to speak up, to try to take up more space and to try to say, not attribute quietness or shyness or thinking that women should be pushed in the shadows and, and seen and not heard. My mom was definitely someone who inspired me to give back. She was very involved in me and my siblings' lives as children growing up. Um, when I became a parent, I, I knew that I wanted to be a mom similar to my mother. So she always encouraged us to take risks, to jump on opportunities, to volunteer. And so now volunteerism is a really big part of my life. And I like to try to bring my daughter out in this community. And even now she's only two, but you know, we try to go to the library story hours, we try to do different community events. I just try to expose her to different people and different things. Right now, um, racial equity, especially health equity, is an issue that I care deeply about. I've been working in the healthcare industry for over 15 years. And it's very exciting to me to see some of these issues coming up to our forefront and getting some attention that have always been um, problems in the past. I hope that one day, you know, women, girls, people of color, people of all genders can, can be treated with respect and have their voices listened to, especially when it comes to your own body and your own health choices. I was motivated to get involved with uh, Play Academy through Best Start um, because as a parent, I've just been like super eager to get involved with the community and learn more. And I feel like there's so many resources out there that I didn't know existed. And I think I want to be able to take advantage of everything for my daughter to give her kind of the best start um, in her development. Um, I know that as kids grow up, it gets harder and harder. And I want to make sure that I can be as involved and educated myself so that I can then in turn educate and empower her when the time comes to be an advocate for her own education. I think a main barrier that I have attempted to overcome in community engagement is kind of the feeling of isolation from motherhood. It wasn't something that I really anticipated I had heard about, but it wasn't until I had my own child and I felt like I was kind of like trapped in the house with a baby and it was like so hard to get things done. And then with COVID happening, um, 
when I finally felt like I was getting in my groove and I was getting outside and I was meeting other moms and other parents, all of a sudden everything was shut down. Uh, when when things went virtual, it was like, hallelujah. <laughs> all of a sudden I had a path um, of communication to other people in the outside world um, and things like Play Academy just helped me feel connected to other people going through the same thing and all of a sudden I was able to kind of tap into resources. I really realized how important it is to have different modes of communication and different channels to be able to reach people who may not necessarily be able to leave the house or who have a disability. It's something I'm really attuned to now when I start to think about if organizing events in the future. Yeah, I would definitely recommend people attend Play Academy. If you're coming from a place where you just want to learn more about how to get involved um, in your child's school, learn about what's going on and learn about how you can be a better advocate for your child. I really didn't know a lot about the way that the local government was structured, the school board, um, who was doing what. And so this helped me at least give, you know, lay the groundwork for being able to attend those meetings, figure out you know, the important names I needed to know and, and get ready for when my child will enter school. Regarding community change, I would like girls to know that you do have a place, you do have a voice, and you are powerful. You have the ability to create a world um, that you want to see. So get out there, be visible, and go for it. I love the community to get involved in, in social change in the future by creating more opportunities for us to get together and, and learn and listen from each other. I think we've learned over the past you know, two, three years living in isolation that we're more alike than we are different. And there's so many ways that we can build a bridge to one another if we just treat each other as equals with respect and understand that you know this world is here for all of us and we can all work together to make it a better place.